All right, a little frost on the pumpkin this morning, but you know, I did a video about this yesterday. It was really sunny and beautiful here. And I don't know what went wrong, but all the files were corrupted, but we're doing it again. So this is my well drilling rig. This is what I used to drill my well with. Uh, it went, I went down approximately 80 feet with it. Let's bring the camera a little closer here. We'll get some details on this puppy. I've got a, about a nine second video on YouTube. It's, it's all I had left. All my other files were corrupted. I don't know what the curse is with this thing, but I keep having corrupted files. This is just a transmission, a standard transmission that we pulled out of a log skidder um, that we used to drive this thing. The motor is missing. It was a four cylinder Hercules, like a 12 horsepower. It didn't have very much horsepower, but no, don't push that button. Yeah, it, it only looked like it went off because of the screen. Yeah, we, we're, we're brand new to this camera too. So it's a good camera though. Um, but I had a, I had a motor back here and yeah, we took that off to rebuild it cause it was, it was burning oil really, really bad. Okay. So how did we build this thing? So these are just the rear wheels off of a Subaru. This is a differential off of a Subaru. And what we did was on a Subaru, you know, you have that, that axle with these two CVs and we just took and we put the CV joints on the lathe, cut off the bells, shortened them, welded on these sprockets. This was a this was a chain coupling. You can find them on surplus catalogs and things of the like. And um, anyways, um, so and we did that on both sides, and. Um, like I said, Subaru differential. This is just a wheel. We spooled it with some cable. This is like 3 16 cable. Uh, put some rollers on here. We had a little bit of trouble with the cable flying off. Um, let me go sit over here on this little chair. And this thing's angled. The whole drill's angled just a little bit. Obviously, it's got some little outriggers over here that we would put down. But uh, I would sit here and I would operate this little lever. This is a Brody brake, like what you'd find, or what you put on like a VW bug. And um, you know, like if you're gonna spin a Brody, you'd lock up, let's say the left tire, turn left hard, and then give it the gas, and then you'd make a real tight turn. Or you, you can do the other side. Ooh, that brake's actually working. Ooh, that still works. So, huh. Well, so when I push it forward, it would hold the brake drum. The motor was constantly turning. We'd never disconnect the motor. I would push it forward and I could hold the tool up in the air. I had about a hundred pound tool and there's no problem to hold that tool. And then when I'd let it go, it would free spool and fall. And then when I pull back on it, <clears throat> this wheel would lock up and because this is the planetary, it would, it would uh, crank up on the winch. And, and thus was the action back and forth. On that nine second video, and I'll put a link down below, we, uh, I, I hooked up a, a windshield wiper motor and it was operating it like this to run that tool up and down. Uh, this was a cable tool rig, so the idea is to just add water in the hole, pulverize everything at the bottom, and then you use this little mechanism here. And you put that on the end of your cable. When you're all done, when you advance a few feet or a foot or whatever, and you make a bunch of mud at the bottom of the hole, you send this down there and you suck it out. It was a real major flaw with this. And that was this metal flapper here. I don't know what the deal was, man, but it seemed like every time I made mud, um, it this bit would get stuck. Like it was under suction or something. So if I had to do it over again, I would swap this metal flapper out with a rubber flapper. And that way, if it ever gets stuck due to suction, the rubber flapper would pull through. That's something I learned. See, we never knew nothing about drilling wells. We just built this thing. I did some research on cable tool drilling, but there's like no substitute for experience, obviously. And uh, we, we gained some experience all right, but at the peril of losing lots of tools. Like I said, I drilled one successful well. I tried drilling like three others and all of them were disasters. And I lost all my tooling except for just a few little things here. 
Uh, this one's a driver bit. And we use this to drive the six inch casing down. I bought some six inch, uh, some used well casing at a uh, well drilling outlet. And uh, um, it had welds on it and stuff. We cut the welds off, we cleaned the pipes up. And I wish I had a film of all that. I, I did have a film of all that, but we lost it. And what a bummer. Hey, we might resurrect this thing and put another motor on it. Um, I've been wanting to do another well and this thing was really cheap to build we didn't have much money into it obviously everything was salvaged get a shot of this boom up here I wanted to show them that too this boom we just made out of a piece of two inch pipe and we reinforced it of course and uh, the pulley was quite a thing of contention we went through several pulleys before we found one that was robust enough we wound up actually making that pulley and putting a bronze bushing in there um ball bearings weren't quite strong enough with all the force but um anyways yeah that's uh that's a rundown of this little machine and um, i'm quite proud of it and i hope that gives you guys some ideas and uh thanks a lot